people, I won't be before you long, but today this title of it is called Knowing When to Let Go. Asking yourself or knowing when to say enough is enough. Sometimes we never ask ourselves that. We just keep going along with the nonsense and the behavior, thinking everything will be all right. So knowing when to let go, whether it's your own behavior, your friends, your relationship, a job, you need to ask yourself these questions. And when you're dealing with people, when you, definitely when you're dealing with people, you got to ask yourself, are you better off with them or are you worse off and end up hurting yourself being with these people or with this person? Now, sometimes you don't cause grief for yourself and you never learn to put those people away or keep them at a distance so you can work on you. You need to sometimes detach yourself from people, you know, to, to find out what you need to do. And detaching yourself don't necessarily mean you ain't got to mess with them no more, but you need to put some things in perspective for yourself. And detaching helps you because some people are detached from you and you won't even know it. You, you, you may feel it over time. And it doesn't happen over overnight and what you need to do, but you need to give it your best shot to keep others, you know, away from you. They ain't doing you no good. You know, sometimes I believe in most cases that we are afraid to let people around us go. We expect them to live by a code and ethics, you know, of ours, and you would think they would treat you the same way if the the roles were reversed. That ain't always the issue. Like I said, your behavior, you need to find that you need to change. Your friends, sometimes you need to change. Relationships, jobs, things that's not going as planned for you. You need to know when to let it go and find another path for yourself for that. You feel me? You have to stop and think about how others have detach from you and deal with the facts from there because everybody ain't gonna let you know they just gonna abruptly stop so, you know sometimes it's like that they're gonna abruptly stop messing with you because something you did something you said something they ain't like and it's crazy people do that without even letting you know that's you know that's foul you know but sometimes that's how it is <coughs> excuse me for a second we need to think about what we can change you know, you know, we can't change people over time, you know what I'm saying? And that's another reason about uh, you know, letting people go. We're afraid to let people go because we think we could change them over time. You can't. If somebody ain't, you know, feeling you, you need to let it go. You need to face the music, you know? You need to look in the mirror and face that rejection. You need to face the truth about why you want to keep this person in your life and how much do they want you in their life more times than not if they showing you if they showing you signs of not want to be in your life they already done detached from you they already done written you off you know we think we could let things blow over and never talk about it some 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 things you need to have that sit down about and talk about because you're not going nowhere, you're not getting nowhere, you just, you know, have this false facade that everything is going to be all right when you need to talk to them, you know, so you know where you stand with people, because if you don't know where you stand with people, you're just going to, you know, believe anything you want, and you need to know, like like the title say, no one to let go, you know, and some people come in your life, and some people going to use you. You know, they're going to use you like old cloth, man, old rags. And when they ain't got no desire, you know, for you to be around anymore, they're going to throw you away, discourage you. And which at that point, you should know to let them go and move on. So with most of that being said, make yourself aware of your past experiences with people and the roadblocks that may come ahead and you know, with knowing, you know, uh, seeing certain things, seeing that 
somebody has no desire to be around you or, you know, have a even a decent conversation with you, let it go. Let it all the way go. And most of this is going to sound like relationship stuff, but it's just for you to be aware. Like I said, first part of the video, it could be your own behavior that you need to detach from and look at. It could be your friends that ain't really your friends or they just using you. Or you're just going separate ways. You know what I'm saying? And it could be, you know, your relationship with your, with your woman, with your man. Look. Observe. Think about some things. Or it could be your job. You know? Things ain't going right at the workplace. You feel like you 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 stagnant. You can't grow. You need to Find some other things. Work for yourself. Do something that pertain that is going to improve you. But also what we need to realize is that sometimes you're not compatible with folks. You're not you incompatible with folks. You need to realize that. You know? And these are the questions we need to ask ourselves. Anything we do in life. But listen, that's my time. Please like, share, subscribe. You know, put a comment down there, email me, everything will be in the description below. Alright, y'all be blessed, and I'm out.